Uh, this tech tip is dealing with uh, one of the most common problems that we deal with when we're riding a bike is a flat tire. And uh, it's one thing that we, uh, we all don't like, but uh, it's something we need to do. And I'm going to show you how to uh, do this very uh, nice and quick and uh, get it done so you can get on your way on the trail. First things first, we're, uh, we're going to check our tire and we notice we do have a flat tire, as if you can see. And the one thing you want to check is see what type of tube because we're going to have to replace the tube. And you, what you usually do is you come to your valve stem here and you see what type of tube. So this tells me I have a Schrader valve. So that's the type of tube you need to uh, carry with you at all times if you're riding a Schrader valve. Uh, the only uh, other type of tube that you'll be riding on a mountain bike is going to be a Presta valve. And that's what this looks like right here. It's going to be a lot skinnier. All right. So, first things first, we're going to take off our wheel, because now we've got to change the tube. We have a flat. All right. And uh, one way to do that is uh, you probably want to find a stick or anything close by. And what we need to do is if there's any little bit of an air left, we just need to release that air. All right. So it's really soft. Now, everybody should have one when you're out in the tra trail is dealing with the tire lever. All right? And what we're going to do with the tire lever, I'm going to pull the tire back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tire lever and I'm going to put it inside there until I grab the tire and I'm going to lift it out. All right? Now, one thing, now that I have a good position on the tire, see how it slides? What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the tire lever all the way around. There you go. And by doing this, this will expose your tube. So I'm going to pull this tube out. So this is the tube with the flat. Pull this tube out. All right. Now usually people, what they do is they would right away put the, uh, the new tube in. And then they would go down the trail for probably another couple of miles and they notice uh, they got another flat. Now one thing you need to do before you put the new tube is tube in, you need to run your hand through the tire. And what you need to do is fill for any thorns or whatever caused that flat. And when you find it, you want to break it. Break it inside the tire so you do not get a flat with your new tube. Alright, once you've done that, <clears throat> what you need to do is uh Put a uh, new tube in. Now I recommend putting in a tube that it usually deals with some type of tire sealant. And you can buy these type of tubes at your local uh, bike shop. Uh, you usually have um, slime tubes and uh, one tube that I like is a, a true goo tube. So that's what I have right now. <clears throat> so now I'm going to Put our true goo tire in. Usually, when you're out there on the trail, you uh, you can't fill your tube up. You usually want to put a little bit of air if you're at home, in your uh, garage or whatever, and just put a little bit of air so you can actually line the tire. But being that we're on the trail and we have to survive, what I'm going to do is show you how to put the put on a tube without putting any air. So we're going to find our hole where our, our Schrader valve goes. I'm going to pull the tire back and I'm going to put that Schrader valve through. Alright. Now here comes the trick. <clears throat> Let's pull your tire over the tube. What you need to do is make sure you pull the tube all the way up in your tire so it kind of holds, kind of like a Tuffy liner. If you guys ever put in a Tuffy liner. And by doing this, you're ensuring that you will not Get a pinch flat when you seal the tire up. All right, it's all the way up in there. So I'm gonna get my tire lever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push where my uh, valve stem is. I'm gonna come back and do the same thing the way you took off the tire. See the sliding motion? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift the tire lever. And what I'm gonna do is slide it around.
you probably want to hold this flat. There you go. Now the only thing to do now is uh, put air and put it back on your bike. And you're off and away. I'm Devin Gonzalez, and that was your video tech tip of the day. Thank you.